We are in the capital of Bavaria. We are gonna get amazing foods, incredible beer, and in about five minutes, we're gonna get the sound of the bells. Guten Tag, welcome to Munich. Munich is an amazing city. The vibe, the people, everyone's so friendly. It's like a fairy tale. Cobblestone streets, amazing architecture. I know they say I left my heart in San Francisco, but I think I'm leaving mine in Munich. Here we are in Viktorienmarkt, which is this awesome open air market in Munich. Come check it out with me. I'm here with my friend Carrie, who's decided to tag along with me on this adventure. Look at the lobster! Oh. There's one awesome beer garden right over here. Jeez! I have a smile from ear to ear. Ooh, it's a sharp, it's a sharp smelling Swiss. One of the things that I enjoy the most about going to Europe is just walking around the open air markets with all the locals, checking out how real people shop. Woo! It's amazing. Can you drink the water? Yes. Really? Yeah. Really? This is so cool. Oh, good. Where you come from? Denver, Colorado. Shit, American people! Ah. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of creepy. This shop has my name all over it. Sausage, oh my God. Like every kind of sausage you could possibly eat. My travel companion is in desperate need of a cocktail. So she's not very happy right now because I keep going from one food window to the next food window. But wouldn't you, if that's what was in the window, look at those pork knuckles. That's the real deal. In the spirit of Hansel and Gretel, okay. I followed the breadcrumbs right to Schubix, really? this incredible chocolate spice and tea shop. Oh my gosh, it smells amazing in here. Mr. Schubix started first with, with uh, spices mm -hmm. right, on this uh, area. And afterwards, he started thinking with um, tea. The star anise, yeah, right? The star anise, yes, it is. Oh, it's so nice. And that's a tonka bean? Tonka bean, yes, tonka. It's tonka really bean. interesting. Yeah. A lot of spice. Yes. <laughs> Chocolate and spice and everything nice <laughs> in Munich. <laughs> well, this was out of this world good. Can I steal another yes. sample? Oh. <laughs> Mmm. And look at the back with the cube. Ah, oh, yeah. Yes. Shubex. This is out of this world good. I came for a sausage for lunch and I got chocolate instead. <laughs> <laughs> you would get the sausage. I can't right? wait. <laughs> I better. <laughs> We are at one of my favorite places in Munich, which is Zoom Franzikaner. And you have to come here for the pretzels, the Weisswurst, which is a wonderful veal sausage, mm. with the sweet mustard, yeah. right? It's getting better, isn't yeah, it? it is. <laughs> and Weiss beer, which is white beer. Only have the white beer here. Oh my God, they're super hot. Mm. 
Oh my god. Salty, crispy on the outside, airy on the inside. Look at that. This is a vice of beer and this white beer. And this is what was recommended for me and Carrie to try here at Zoom Friends Encounter. Oh, thank you, Dankeschön. My absolute favorite soup, one of the main reasons I came back to Munich was to find out how the heck they make the most amazing cream of mushroom Bavarian soup. And you'll see it has chives, so I need to study this so I can recreate it. So bread cubes, some chive, of course the chanterelle, and a light but a light broth but with cream. Oh my god. You all are going to absolutely love this. This is a Wurstel platter made up of all kinds of amazing Bavarian sausages. But here's an awesome story I learned from my good friend on the plane. Shout out to you, Michael, and thank you for telling me about this. So, interesting fact. In the olden days, when in Munich, the Weisse which is the white sausage, the veal sausage, which is also my favorite, these were made fresh every day, as they still are. However, you had to eat them before the bells rang in town hall in Munich, before noon. Because if you didn't eat the Weisse before noon, you would know that they would have gone bad because they didn't have refrigeration back then. So you had until noon when the bells rang to eat the Weisse And believe it or not, Michael said, to this day, people here in Bavaria will still not eat Weisse after noon. It's just a thing, everyone eats it in the morning. Oh my god. It just melts in your mouth. You guys have to come to Munich, and when you do, get the Wurstel platter with the Weisse Wurst. Try to eat it before noon. <laughs> the mushroom soup and the Weisse beer to die for. So everybody, we are at the Hofbra House in Munich, Deutschland, and we are going to have, for sure, some real hardcore beer. Strong beer. <laughs> Not that I haven't had enough already. Today, we are going to get Schweinsehaxe at Hofbra House. Well, this is the biggest, largest, original Hofbra house in the world. This is it. This is the real deal. This is so cool. So guess what? Not only do we have amazing music in the background, but our little seat buddies left their entire meal here. Which I have been trying to get my hands on all day. Now don't think ill of me, but how can you let a Schweinza Ox go to waste? When in Munich, So, yeah! Crispy, crunchy pig skin. Are you gonna help me eat this? You know you'll do it. It was on the table, yes. It was in front of somebody else, yes. Who cares? I drank water out of a well. I know, we're gonna have the poop. 
We're not going to know okay. what's. We're not going to know what's the blame. Okay. <laughs> It's either Let's, the pork or the water. <laughs> so, this is already a little bit of a feat to get into. This is the pork knuckle? Who, yeah, it's a pork knuckle. Now, who would waste this? Looks good to me. The other fellas like theirs, they pick theirs clean. I know. Now, you need to dip it in the sauce, right? Uh -huh. With all this good, crispy, Fat. Both. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so good. This skin is so crispy, crunchy, and the meat is so good. And I'm so glad that they wasted this, but guess what? It's still warm. <laughs> is it really? <laughs> it's like they just set it down on the table. It's a very rich, um, broth and the skin is very crispy and salty and just <laughs> like so good. I oh god, they're coming back! Yes, they're coming back! cocktail time. Woo! Yay! So we are at the Hotel Bayer Ischerhof in Munich, which is a really famous old luxury hotel. Of course, we're not staying here. <laughs> we're just staying in the lobby for cocktails. Because what we do and what I would tell all of you to do when you travel, check out the different types of bars at some of the very nice established hotels. You don't need to stay there right? But you get the experience. And Carrie and I have decided to unwind a little bit from our day gallivanting, trotting around <laughs> Munich. And I'm having one of um, my favorite cocktails, which is the White Lady. And this was Alfred Hitchcock's favorite cocktail. So it has traditionally gin. I got it with vodka because I prefer vodka, but gin, Cointreau, or like Grand Marnier, and lemon juice with a little uh, dried lemon. And the only ingredient that's missing from the traditional white lady is shaken egg white. So when you put the shaken egg white in here, it will come out with a nice froth on the top. That's what I'm drinking. I'm in the mood for schnitzel. Okay, me too. I wanted to Let's like, get some schnitzel. Let's schnitzel. get some fried pig. <laughs> when in Germany eat pig? When in, well, yeah, yeah. Pork, 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 pork. It's cheap and it tastes good. Tradition is before the big soccer match. Everyone comes here to the Zoom Augustiner for drinks and for food. It's real. When you come here, you see people of all natures living together, walking together, buying together, eating together here. It's great. What should I have? Hellas. Hellas. Yeah. Yeah. Small. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and you dip in the gravy. Crispy, juicy, tender pork. Breaded and fried with a nice crisp lemon juice and salt. <laughs> 